What's up, guys? Let's look at some torque and equilibrium practice problems. So wrench use to tighten a nut, as shown here below. Um, we want to know what is the magnitude of the torque going to be delivered. So we see first and foremost that this torque right here is at an angle, and torque is equal to R perpendicular times the force. And it's also, therefore, equal to F sine theta of R when it's not perpendicular. So right here, without numbers, this is strictly the answer. Because we know that if we have a torque this way and the arrow's pointing here, we had the components of that are this and this. And this force right here is the force that makes that object spin. So we need to know the sign. If this is theta, this is opposite, where the force is going to be the hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse is sine. So the real torque force here is F sine theta. Here I have a 10 meter plank that has a weight of 100 newtons, and we know that the weight of a plank acts at its center of mass. So that means the weight right here, Fg, is gonna be 100 newtons. And we know that if this position is one meter, and this is a 10 meter long plank, we know that from the center of mass to the fulcrum point here, this R is gonna be equal to four meters. That's where the center of mass acts according to this fulcrum. Now we have an 800 newton person. So that 800 newton person is gonna walk out here and apply a torque force this way. So we're gonna have another weight equal to 800 newtons. And they wanna know how far can we go out without making this thing tip. So we're gonna have the torque from the board or the plank. Then we have the torque from the person. So we have FR equals FR. And they essentially want to know what is the R that this person can be that these are going to be set equal to one another. So we have 100 newtons times 4 meters. That's going to be equal to 800 newtons times X. X will then be equal to 0.5 meters. Now guys, make sure you understand what that R means. It's not, it's not 0.5 from the end of the board this way. It's 0.5 out from the focal point. So this right here is what's equal to 0.5 meters. It's kind of tricky because they made it directly in the middle, but it's not from the end of the board in, it's from the focal point out. Okay, so these are gonna be at equilibrium. So we're gonna have a torque from this weight, Fg over here. And we're gonna have a torque from this ball way over here, Fg. And we know that torque is gonna be equal to F times R. And torque for this one is gonna be equal to F times R as well. So we have the torque of the three kilogram ball, which has to be equal to the torque of the one kilogram ball. So we know that the force is gonna be mg, because that's how we solve for fg by just doing mg. So I'm gonna use g is gonna be equal to 10 meters per second squared. Therefore, the force or the weight is gonna be equal to 30 newtons times a, the distance from the fulcrum. That needs to be equal to the weight of the small ball, 10 newtons, but now guys, R is not equal to B for this particular torque, right? It's from the focal point from here to here. So the actual R that we need to plug in is B minus A. Okay, so that makes this 10B minus 10A equals 30A. So then we have 40A is equal to 10B and what you see here is they want the ratio of B to A. So I got to bring A over to here. And I'm also, I'm just going to divide this by 10A just to make this a little simpler. So then when these cross out, we see that B over A is equal to four. The next question has a meter stick, which is going to be one meter long. And we have a fulcrum pivot point right at the midway point at 0.5 meters. A three kilogram object is hung from the 0.5 meter mark over here. So I'm gonna say there is a three kilogram object. So that's gonna be a 30 Newton object is gonna be right over here. And this is gonna be at 0.15 meters. Where should a five kilogram object be held over here? So now I'm gonna have a 50 Newton force at some R distance that I don't know. So this is an equilibrium. So I'm gonna have the torque of the three kilogram has to be equal to the torque of the five kilogram. So I have 30 Newtons times R. Now guys, this is not R, okay? It's 0.5 to 0.15. So 
So my R is really 0.35 meters. That's so important, and that's going to be equal to our 50 newton weight times X. But now, guys, once again, X equals 0.21 meters. That's not that they what they asked. They asked where should it be hung to achieve this. If you hung it at 0.21 over here, that would not be good. So the position that you want to hang it is from the focal point. So where the real answer that you want is 0.5 plus 0.21. You are going to hang that on the meter stick at 0.71 meters. That will achieve equilibrium. So we have a big wheel here with a radius of this and a smaller wheel here with a radius of this. All right, and we want to know what does M have to be so that these two objects will not spin. So once again, guys, this is just an equilibrium. So we have the torque of the 7.6 kilogram blocks and that has to be equal to the torque of the M block. Now remember, torque is an F times an R, which is going to be equal to an F times an R. And in this case, the F is going to be the weight. So I need mg R. That has to be equal to mg R. So we have 7.6 times 10 times 7.1 equals the big M they want you to find times 10 times R 1.38 meters. The M to keep this in equilibrium is going to be 39 kilograms. Once again, this boy has some sort of weight that's going to create some torque. This man has some sort of weight, which is going to create some torque. It's going to be separated around a focal point right here. So we're going to have the torque of the boy has to be equal to the torque of the man. So the FG of the boy times R equals the FG of the man times R. So we have MG, the boy is at four meters, which is going to be equal to mg, this man is at one meter, so m times 10 times four has to equal 80 times 10. So m equals 20 kilograms. So essentially on this fulcrum point, we have the man that's pushing down with a force of 800 newtons, and we have the boy, which is 20, pushing down at 200 newtons. So there, if these are pushing down, the fulcrum points up and to equal that out because everything is in balance, the downward force exerted on it is going to be 800 plus 200, which is equal to 1000 newtons. Hope that helps guys. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Have a great day.